how long did it take to, to prepare all of this? Because it takes a lot of documenting, I think. If you can include the question, please. Yeah, I mean, it was a, um, I mean, if we looked at the, uh, the long timeline on this, it starts in April of 2018, when we first hear about Colette um, in Normandy um, from a tour guide. Um, you know, Elise and I were looking for stories of World War II and a tour, we had a tour guide and he mentioned that he knew a woman in the French resistance or who had been. That was in April of 2018. We meet her in person in October of 2018. And then we go on the journey with Lucy and Colette in May of 2019. Um, so there's a lot that happened, you know, in, uh, in that span of time, but, um, but yeah. And then when we were with them, we spent, um, about a week with them together filming. I mean, the, the impact, I think that the most important thing about this, uh, movie is the fact that, uh, you're exploring something that, uh, it, there are not too many people that are alive to tell the story that makes it so valuable, uh, how did you, are you satisfied by the, what you found and uh, how important was it for you to find Colette? Alice or? Yes. Go, ahead. Go for it, Elise, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yes. When it comes to Colette, <laughs> it's my turn. So um, we, it took us, uh, uh, in, indeed, uh, uh, Anthony uh, uh, did a lot of research in, uh, in, uh, in history and I was also uh, looking at resistant women and so, suddenly we, we, we meet with uh, uh, Colette and we thought, wow, uh, this is a woman, an amazing voice uh, and she has very vivid memory of the war. She has a, she has stronger character. She, she has a very authoritative voice a, a frank, truthful tone, yet very tender. And we loved, we were seduced by the character. And we thought this woman, it was just for an interview at the beginning. And we thought, wow, this woman deserves more than an interview. We need to take her onto a real story to, to show uh, the world who she is, what she has to say as a, of, about the world, but also who she is as a fighter, as a fighter during the war, but also as a fighter all her life as a, as a woman. Yeah. I would like to know, you know, we don't have too much time because we're doing a lot of, uh, but uh, I just want to know what was the impact of being nominated? It's a great honor. I mean, uh, I'm sure you just did the film not thinking on the, of the Oscars. And oh, yeah, of course not. I mean, you know, um, we, we have, obviously we didn't set off to go onto this path for sure. But I, I would say um, it's a tremendous honor for sure. Uh, but what it also does for us is it, it gives us just an immense platform to get this story out. Um, and I think that's probably the best thing uh, about, about being nominated for this is that people will be writing about it here. We're talking with you, right? Uh, it's, it's really the best thing that, um, that, could have, that could have happened and we're really grateful. Yeah, I want to say congratulations. Uh, are you coming to the Oscars? I'll be on the red carpet, so I would love to see you. I'll be working there. You're That's the intention. <laughs> yes, this is the intention. So what I can say, because I'm tuning in from London today, what, what I can say is that uh, we will be, um, I, I will personally be at the ceremony, either in Los Angeles or in London, and, uh, and Anthony. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, I'm in New York now so uh we have every intention on being there 